Hello, family. Um, first and foremost, I don't like wasting my big ice cubes. So if I have um, a cocktail on the rocks and it makes sense, uh, I'll probably make a second. Because why not have two cocktails versus happy hour? Two cocktails during happy hour. Uh, second, um, Jeff's cocktail looked awesome. Um, in one of the pictures that he showed me, I chided him briefly because it looked like he used a shaker uh, to make his martini. And I said, no, you need to strain it. Or sorry, you need to stir it. Um, and what he said was that he probably used this technique where he put it in the shaker and kind of uh, did this little rotational thing, uh, which works. So as long as he didn't shake it, I'm totally cool with that. Um, but he also said, you know, you should make a video to show us how to make a stirred cocktail. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, a couple other secrets to the, the trade. Um, I did not rinse this out. Um, I made an old fashioned with it. So that's a bourbon um, and even more generally a brown liquor cocktail. So a lot of times during service, I'll have one mixing glass for bourbon. I'll have one mixing glass for clear spirits like uh, vodka and gin. Even though they're two totally different spirits, um, the dilution and if you get rid of it all and strain it enough, you can still reuse these without having to dump, clean, and then uh, then go again. So uh, what are we going to do? So I made an old fashioned, uh, two and a half ounces of bourbon. Uh, Jeff used rye and that's totally fine. Um, I use two dashes of old fashioned bitters, um, one dash of orange bitters, and these are Fee Brothers, very traditional brand. Uh, and I used uh, a quarter ounce of uh, simple syrup. Uh, you can make it at home, uh, it's equal parts. I, I have deli containers, they're one quart, 32 ounces. I'll use half uh, granulated sugar and then half boiling water. I, uh, I put that in a, in a saucepan and I stir it and make sure it's all incorporated and then let it chill. Uh, but I'm going to make a Manhattan. Uh, and then, so we're talking about stirring versus shaking. Uh, you stir anything that you want to be clear. Uh, so old fashions, Manhattans, uh, martinis, uh, and any sort of variations of that, where it's really just a couple of spirits together. Uh, you stir them over ice to incorporate them, to dilute it together, and then strain it into your glass of choice with rocks or, or straight up. Uh, you use these if you have citrus and other mixers involved uh, because that incorporates, you need more dilution to get everything mixed together and the dilution factor good. Uh, but without further ado, uh, Manhattan. Again, I'm using Buffalo Trace. It's an amazing value bourbon. Uh, Manhattans are old school classic rye, uh, but a lot of people nowadays, they just prefer them with bourbon. So um, as the jigger goes, this is one ounce. All the way down here, if I were just to use this half, uh, that's an ounce and a half. So I poured one ounce. I'm gonna do two ounces of bourbon. And it's dark in here. I need to make sure that I get it all the way to the top. Make sure your measurements are always good. So that's two ounces. One ounce of sweet vermouth. Uh, Koki Vermouth di Torino is my vermouth of choice. It's what we use at the bar. It's what a lot of bars use. So I'm going to do one ounce of this up to the top. Put it in. Uh, when you use your mixing glass, you want to have it at least uh, half full. Maybe sometimes you prefer three uh, quarter ounce, three quarter jars full. And the ice I have is not great mixing ice. It's the only ice I have. Uh, I might stop at Publix and get some of their ice because it's really good. Anyway, two ounces bourbon, one ounce sweet vermouth, and then the bitters of all bitters, Angostura bitters. This is the classic. It makes so many cocktails. Um, bitters are. Um, part of its own little family of spirits. Uh, this does have alcohol in it, uh, but it's basically all this stuff put together and they just let it mix and marry and, and just boil down so all the flavors, herbs, spices, and everything come together. I will do two dashes 
And pro tip, once you uh, open this up, this is a brand new bottle, it never uh, comes out as easily as you want. So I'll just do a little more because it's just dribbling. And then everything's in there, you stir. This hand does not touch the glass. I'm stirring, stirring, stirring. About 15 seconds for any stirred cocktail is the best amount of time uh, to get everything diluted properly. You may use this hand to touch the glass. When you feel it getting cold, you might feel it getting icy. That means the cocktail is ready. So this bad boy is good. My strainer was just sitting around for a minute, so I rinse it off. Strainer on, glass, strain. Get all that goodness out, and you're good to go. Cheers, Slancha. Uh, Jeff requested this, and I thought I would just do it tonight. Your first bartending cocktail lesson, how to make a stirred cocktail. Cheers. That's good. That's why Dad loves them. Cheers. Bye.